help. Yeah, try to take some. Please take me. Please take me in your car. Please take me in your car. No, 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 no. I think you wait for an ambulance, okay? He wants my car. I looked away. I knew if I looked at him, I'd lose it. I thought to myself, if I, if I survive this, you're history, Jack. I mean, life's furious. I'm looking away, contemplating what I'm going to do to him if I survive it. And I see Danielle appear from nowhere, runs up to my side, and to my amazement, an ambulance comes flying to the car park. Hurry, hurry, it's a jellyfish. Please, hurry, please. Jellyfish? Careful with it. It's all right, it's all right, Jen. It's all right, don't worry, don't worry. You'll be all right. the hospital, I start to see on the inside of the ambulance what appears to be a small boy with white hair. I see sections of some kid's life with snow white hair. I then realize as I'm looking at it that this is me. This is sections of my own personal life. I thought, am I that close? With my mind, I did a mental check, you know what I mean? Of my own vital signs. My mind told me I am very close to death. As I'm lying there, I think, well, I, I could be that close to death. I may not make it. Well, I'm lying there having no idea what to do next, and I see appear before me a clear vision of my mother. She looked straight up into my eyes. She said these words. She said, Ian, no matter what you've done in your life, son, no matter how far from God you may be, if you'll but call out to God from your heart, God will hear you and God will forgive you, son. I thought, well, if there is a God, which one? I'd seen thousands. I'd traveled through Kandy, Sri Lanka, been through Bora Badur, I'd been to so many different places. And now I'm lying there, I thought, okay, God, if you're real, show yourself. I used to say, unless I see God, I won't believe. Well, I lay there, and I'm going, show yourself, and I'll pray. No face appeared. My mother kept saying, pray from your heart. God, if, you, if you're real, if, if this is real, Help me to pray. Help me to pray the only prayer I've ever learned. Help me to remember the Lord's Prayer. As I said that, words began to appear before my eyes. Forgive us our trespasses and sins. I thought, how on earth could God forgive me? I mean, it's too late. I've done too many things wrong. God. God, if you are real, and you can hear me, please forgive me. More words appeared. Forgive those who have trespassed and sinned against you. Arthur, that means forgive other people. I can do that. I'm not a vindictive person by nature. God, I can forgive anyone. No matter what people have done to me, I forgive those that have sinned against me. As I said that, the face of the Indian taxi driver appeared in front of me. I thought, what on earth is this man doing here? 
boy said, will you forgive this man for pushing you out of his taxi tonight and leaving you for dead on the side of the road? I thought, no, you must be joking. Not forgiving him. I mean, I was furious with that guy. And the next minute, the Chinese guy's face appeared in front of me. I thought, what on earth is he doing here? And the boy said, will you forgive this man? for not taking you in his car tonight and leaving you to die in the hotel? I thought, no. As I saw both of these men's faces, I thought, what on earth's going on? This isn't just some mumbo-jumbo prayer. I could actually be talking to someone who could be God. This voice is actually personalizing this prayer to me. God, if you can forgive me for my sins, those men for what they did to me. <sighs> Their faces instantly disappeared. The next words came, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I thought, Thy will? I've led my own will. So I said, God, I need to know your will, that if you can help me through this, I'll seek it out. I'll find it and I'll follow you. I'll honour you all the days of my life. As I said that, the entire Lord's Prayer appeared before me, and for the first time in life I had total revelation of what it meant. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. And as I lay there, I felt an amazing peace settle upon me. I knew somehow, deep in my heart, that prayer had changed from something that I did, like repetitious stand up, sit down and kneel type thing through the liturgy. It had changed dramatically, and that I actually prayed for my inner man. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Sir, can you hear me? Or do you get the antitoxin ready? Sir, can you hear me? Get the antitoxin ready. Try to stay away. Antitoxin. for you right now. Fight the poison. Fight the poison, okay? And I could feel myself going. It was, a ter- it was really scary. You could hear everything. Well, I lay there, and I had doctors milling around me and nurses and orderlies, but I found it so difficult to keep my eyes open. I just couldn't seem to keep my eyes open. I remember shutting them and sighing a sigh of relief and thought I'll have a break for a few moments and then I'll try again. As I did that, I felt a sensation like a release. The battle to stay alive had finished. <laughs> 